Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in London. I'm here with Arseni. How are you doing? Thanks, Mike. I'm very well. You're with EMC. Yes, I'm with EMC Isolo. And you're located in Singapore. I am. And we were just talking about how there's different hubs around the world that seem like they're data hubs. And Singapore seems to be growing quite well in the data area. Yeah, we have a, a government uh, built a huge data mart there, so you can actually crawl the statistics, for example, on healthy food, on uh, which food courts are uh, graded A versus B versus C over time. So a lot of um, use cases could actually pop up just from thinking about it. They have about seven or 800 metrics in that data mart. I won't lie, I didn't look into the details, but yeah, that's, um, that's phenomenal. And so what is EMC up to in that area as far as data goes right now? What's, what's new with you guys? Um, we have a headquarter in Singapore, uh, and I'm uh, representing the pre-sales of uh, APJ. Uh, we uh, look after the customers in Japan, um, Korea, Australia, New Zealand, and support them in data ingest, data storage, uh, data analytics. Um, I'm coming from Emerging Technologies Division, and I work with a really sharp bunch of guys, both in APJ and like nonstop around the world, uh, with guys in uh, UK, in Germany, um, in the US. We're trying to solve uh, customers' problems, and uh, we do it in the most efficient uh, enterprise Hadoop way that uh, uh, our data lake strategy allows. If you looked at all your customers that you, you're working with, is there a common theme of what people are trying to solve and trying to do with data? Um, most of the customers uh, start with either uh, one or two use cases. The most uh, common that I see, particularly for APJ, is uh, enterprise data warehouse offload. Uh, so basically, those um, um, massive amount of uh, terabytes that are not really um, it tell, uh, not, not really needed in the existing enterprise data warehouses could be moved outside, and then could be crawled by um, Apache Hive or um, Apache Hawk, um, and then offered back into the existing legacy applications in the data center landscape. So this is one of the most um, uh, current use cases that we see. Uh, of course, there is some uh, real-time um, ingest that uh, uh, customers are after. So, for example, fiscal data, some reporting data from points of sale. Um, normally, they would stream it through some sort of uh, um, analytical um, real-time platform and then do some transformations, put it into a columnar database like HBase. Um, these are the most common use cases that I would say. Are there are there common industries that are uh, needing more help than others? I mean, are there like uh, pharmaceuticals or is, is there any industry that stands out to you right now? I would say retail. Retail, um, particularly for, uh, we call them uh, uh, flybys, like perks, uh, additional discounts. Uh, so it's all about customer 360 point of view, um, finding out those sweet spots of uh, the next email that you get from the retail customer. Uh, financial institutions definitely, because they're big uh, enterprise data warehousing um, uh, install bases uh, traditionally. Um, we have some oil and gas um, uh, customers uh, expressing interest in sensor, in sensor data, so time series analysis. Um, in fact, EMC has a huge uh, center of excellence in Brazil, for example and um, they develop a couple of uh, really unique algorithms uh, that allow massively parallel uh, detachment analysis. So if a sensor starts to misbehave and detaches from the predicted model, uh, you pretty much uh, can, uh, you, you can start doing like predictive maintenance or predictive monitoring at least on that particular pump or some, uh, uh, some pipe. So oil and gas expresses interest in analytics. Yeah. Can you give me a little um, view of what Isilon is from EMC? Okay, so we, uh, uh, we are scale-out network attached storage um, and about four years ago we added uh, Hadoop uh, file system protocol, HDFS, as one of the many um, offerings to access the data that is stored in um, Isilon. Isilon uses erasure coding, um, so it avoids uh, triple mirroring the data as in traditional kind of 10 years old hyperscale architecture of Hadoop. Uh, so a lot of customers embark on um, um, our story with Data Lake uh, Foundation being Isilon. Um, we uh, help customers do regulatory compliance because, of course, the whole legacy of uh, storage division in EMC means that you can deduplicate the data, you can do the um, write once, read many kind of uh, protection of the data, encryption. Um, and for smaller scale customers that want to extract data um, uh, value in a small, known um, 100 racks data centers, um, they find it um, very attractive from total cost of ownership perspective. And of course, like legacy applications can access 
um, Isilon from a variety of uh, protocols that it offers. Um, actually, this is really funny. Like We've been talking about um, um, many of these aspects for a few years already, for four years, as I mentioned. And only now we see that uh, Hadoop roadmap is slowly taking these two degree turns on the course that Isilon has already been sailing. Um, so now, for example, um, that makes me feel that our mantra actually came true. And what we're talking about right now is, uh, for example, having a small virtual edition Isilon on the edges uh, where the sensor, sensor data or some original data is captured and then allowing the data to be replicated into central hub uh, all within um, very well orchestrated, very well scripted, completely um, unattended uh, mesh network of data flows. So hopefully maybe in two or three years we'll see the same reflection in uh, uh, Hadoop 4.0 or 5.0. So. Excellent, excellent. So we're going to see you at Singapore? Uh, in December. Definitely. See you in December. Look forward to that conversation. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.